everyone, my name is Kelvin Drew, and for today's learning adventure, we will learn about our beautiful planet Earth. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Earth in our solar system, Earth atmosphere, gravity, water movement, and life forms. So come on, join me and let's have fun learning our lovely home Earth. The planet Earth. Of all the planets in our solar system, Earth is the only one known to maintain life. Earth in our solar system. Earth is the third planet away from the sun and it is the fifth biggest planet. Earth orbits the sun once every 360.25 days. Since our calendar years have only 365 days, we add an extra leap day every 4 years. Earth rotates on its axis every 23.9 hours defining day and night. The part of the Earth that faces the Sun experiences daytime while the other side is nighttime. The Earth's axis is tilted between 22.1 and 24.5 degrees from the plane of its orbit around the Sun. Earth's tilted axis causes the seasons. The part of the Earth receiving the most direct sunlight experiences spring and summer, while the other experiences autumn and winter. Earth's atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere is composed of about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon, and 0.1% other gases. This 0.1% includes carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, and neon. Gravity. Gravity is the force that makes everything fall down towards the Earth. Imagine a life without gravity. Everything will just float like when you are in outer space. Looks fun, but it's still better to get everything fall into place. Sir Isaac Newton was an English mathematician and physicist who lived from 1642 to 1727. The legend is that Newton discovered gravity when he saw a falling apple while sinking about the forces of nature. The Earth's one and only moon affects Earth with its gravitational pull. The moon's gravitational pull on the Earth is the main cause of the rise and fall of ocean tides. Water on Earth The Earth is called the Blue Planet because of its abundance in water. About 71% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. And about 97% of all the Earth's water is salt water found in oceans and seas. Only about 3% of the Earth's water is fresh. 2.4% of Earth's fresh water is frozen in glaciers, ice caps, or is deep underground in aquifers. There's only 0.6% of Earth's fresh water that is fresh and can be drank. This is available in smaller bodies of water like in rivers, lakes, and streams, water vapor included. There are different bodies of water on Earth. Ocean The ocean is a huge body of salt water. We learned that they contain almost 97% of all the water on Earth. There is only one ocean but it's divided into five main areas. The Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, the Arctic, and the Southern or Antarctic. C a sea is a large area of salt water which is part of an ocean on a large, usually salt water closed lake. For example, the Caspian Sea and the Dead Sea. 
gull. A gull is a part of the ocean that goes into land. They often make excellent harbors. Some gulls are connected to the ocean through narrow passages of what we call strait. Some important gulls are the Gulf of Mexico, which is the largest gulf in the world, Persian Gulf, and the Gulf of Carpentaria. Lake. Lakes are huge bodies of water that are surrounded by land and unlike rivers, they are not part of an ocean and do not flow. They can contain either salt or fresh water and are much larger than ponds. River. A river is a moving stream of fresh water and flows in channels. The bottom part is called the bed and the sides are called bears. They usually move towards an ocean, lake, pond, or another river. The longest river in the world is the Nile River. Stream. Streams are a small version of rivers. They are also called brooks or creeks. They are generally a free-flowing channel of water that follows the pull of gravity downhill. They run into other streams, lakes, or the ocean. Spring. A spring is the water resource formed when the side of a hill, a valley bottom, or other excavation intersects a flowing body of groundwater at or below the local water table below which the subsurface material is saturated with water. Pond A pond is a body of water smaller than a lake. Ponds support a wide range of wildlife. Ducks, turtles, swans, goldfish, and frogs can live in a pond. Usually, in most ponds, sunlight can reach to bottom. Waterfalls A waterfall is a place in a river where water spills suddenly downward. Waterfalls are known for their beauty and awesome power. The world's tallest waterfall is Angel Falls in Venezuela. Glaciers Glaciers are huge, thick masses of ice. They form when lots of snow falls in one location for many years. Over time, decades or centuries, the snow on the bottom gets squished down by the weight of falling new snow. This compressed snow becomes ice forming of glacier. Landforms. What is a landform? A landform is a feature on the Earth's surface that is part of the terrain. The various landforms that we have came into existence due to natural processes such as erosion, wind, rain, weather conditions such as ice, frost, and chemical actions, natural events and disasters such as earthquakes, the tectonic plates, and the erosion of volcanoes created the various shapes of the land that we see. Types of landforms In this section, we will talk about the different types of landforms such as mountain, hills, valley, plateau, plain, island, and desert. Mountain. A mountain is the highest landform on the surface of the earth. It is usually found to be conical shape with steep sides and the pointed tip called a peak. Mount Everest is the highest mountain peak in the world. Three types of mountains. One volcanic mountains. A volcano is formed when hot molten rock, ash, and gases escape from an opening in the Earth's surface. The molten rock and ash solidify as they cool, forming the distinctive volcano shape shown here. As a volcano erupts, it spills lava that flows down slope. Two fold mountains. Fall mountains are formed when two plates run into each other or collide. The force of the two plates running into each other causes the Earth's crust to crumble and fold. Many of the world's great mountain ranges are fall mountains including the Andes, Himalayas, and the Rockies. Three Block Mountains Block mountains are formed when two tectonic plates move away from each other causing cracks on the surface of the earth. 
and the parallel cracks or falls off or the strip of land or the block of land between them may be raised resulting in the formation of black mountains. Hills Hills are lower in height than mountains, but they are higher than the surrounding areas. Hills are usually covered with grass. The climate in the hills is more pleasant than the climate in high snow-covered mountains. Valley Valleys are the low-lying areas between two mountains or hills. When rivers flow down the mountain sides and hillsides, it rises up the rocks and soil. Over a period of time, the water curves on V-shaped grooves. These grooves get deeper and wider, finally forming lowland areas called valleys. Plateau A plateau is a flat top island with steep sides. Since it looks like a table, it is also called a tableland. They are basically areas of high flat land. Plateaus are usually surrounded by steep rock faces called cliffs. This type of land room is usually good for growing certain crops. Plateaus are formed when magma pushes up towards the surface on the Earth's crust. This magma does not break through but it raises a portion of the crust up creating a plateau. Plain A plain is a large area of land with no hills or mountains. Plains mostly are more suitable for farming than plateaus or mountains. Most big cities are located in plains. This is because it is easier to build houses, buildings, roads, and other structures in the plains because of this, plains are heavily populated. Island An island is a body of land that is surrounded by water. Some islands are found in rivers, lakes, and ponds, but most islands are in oceans. Islands are formed due to volcanic activity or due to hotspots in the little sphere. A large group of islands close to each other together from an archipelago. Desert A desert is a place where almost no rain falls. Some deserts are huge areas of sand or flat, sunny ground, while others have rocky hills and mountains. The vegetation is scanty due to the shortage of water. Deserts are covered with sand. Sand dunes are huge hills of sand formed by the winds. Deserts have extreme weather conditions. Daytime can get very hot and nighttime can get very cold. There are two types of deserts, hot deserts and cold deserts. Hot deserts. As the name suggests, hot deserts are vast areas of land that are covered with sand and dust. These areas receive little or no rainfall and are very dry. The animals found in the hot deserts are canals, snakes, lizards, and rats. Their desert in Indian is a hot desert. Cold deserts. The cold deserts are large areas of land covered with snow. These deserts receive little or no rainfall. They are received snowfall during the winters. Animals such as penguins, Whales and forests will survive in the cold deserts. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned. And if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell icon. So, bye for now. Bye.